What's up? I'm Ayla. Hi, I'm Beth Ann. And this is Let's Talk BL, a boys love podcast. Welcome back to the podcast. Uh, it's Pride Month. It sure is. We are so proud. We're so proud. To have <laughs> some favorites of ours. Yeah, two very special yeah. guests who we have collabed with many a time. Yes. But have never actually been on the podcast. And when we realized this, we had to fix it immediately. Yes. Uh... <laughs> Two of our favorite BL creators. Facts. We have Robbie and Trevor. What? Hey, it's Robbie. Hi, it's Trevor. Uh, oh my God, they did it. I yay! love it. Oh. Welcome to the po- How do you feel about being on Let's Talk BL? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, it's like speechless. Long time coming. Speechless. Speechless. Amazing. When you first found Let's Talk BL, you were like, one day my hopes and dreams will come true. That's exactly what it was. Yeah. I was like, I'm right now, I'm like, it's about time. Like, I've, <laughs> where was the invitation? Oh my where God, Trevor, are we the same person? <laughs> no, I'm really not. I'm joking. I'm like, no, I'm you're like, absolutely right. Because, yeah. in fact, we mentioned Trevor on the podcast back in season one. I was like, you guys, there's this TikToker. Yes. I'm like, on Aww. season one on the podcast, I'm like, I found this TikToker and this person is me. Because I even remember the TikTok you were talking about. And we actually did a whole episode about this this season. You were talking about in the TikTok that you call. Koo heart I, little earth uh, yeah and you were like what does everybody call all the boys yeah. that have the same names yeah mm-hmm. and i was like oh my god we also call him little earth i didn't know anybody else did mm. that and we talked about it on season one of the podcast we did. there's like so many earths so yeah. like yeah. i I, there, I had to like find something about them so like Koo heart's little <laughs> earth and then you got um uh, a thousand stars earth, which is big earth but yeah. then there's also two moon two earth who's just like Middle Earth. Two moons too. I call him Middle Earth yeah. now, Middle yes, Earth. because like it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I did not know you guys for the longest time because I am old and I'm not on the TikTok. <laughs> yeah, I take the talk. Unless yeah. Ayla brings them over to IG, <laughs> I have oh no my clue. Gosh. So <laughs> Ayla's like, hey, we have friends on TikTok. Yeah. You should know about them. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then she eventually like shoes you over to ig and that's where yeah and i think trevor i'm pretty sure i even dm'd you and i was like just so you know i have a podcast and i talked about you on my podcast (laughs) and that that moment i was like oh i i I was like do you feel like you made it i was like i was like am i am i an icon i must have been in no i I was so overwhelmed and so just like oh like yeah i don't yeah i'm gonna get emotional Oh, oh my but, god! Uh, no, it was it was so sweet, and I was just like, "That's yeah." I'm Thank you. Okay. It's I weird when it. people start listening to you. Yeah, <laughs> we have that feeling. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, wait, you saw a thing I did. People yeah. will like bring up things we said like episodes ago, and we're like, "You're listening to cool. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. That doesn't make sense." But I would you. hope so. I mean, but you're like, you guys are like super super big like you i mean you guys are doing it and so i'm doing mean, it I don't know. we're doing a thing we're doing something much we're right doing. i mean you're doing you're doing you're doing it i feel like we're, we're doing some and then some. robbie also a tiktok connect connect so like we exchanged the dms for like a while oh my god a long time and then finally finally you start DMing on the Instagram yes. and this is when we pulled Beth Ann in because again, <laughs> yeah. she doesn't take the talks and the talks. Mm-mm. And then I think we like, Oh, I pulled a big, like not subtle, like subtle move where I was like, I feel like this will be easier if we just have a group text. Right, and like I when, dropped my number. Like I pulled one of those. Because yes. when we IG chat, it's Ayla and I both on Let's Talk right. BL. And so like you don't know who you're getting. And if both of us are in the chat, like you, mm-hmm. it, it, it's two voices at once. And it yeah. makes no sense. So, you'll, so sometimes we would have to be like, it's Beth Ann. Or like yeah. I would sign my name. Yeah. That's and how so I Like, Yeah. Let's just give out real info yeah so instead i was like what if, you guys what if we have like a group text <laughs> subtle yep subtle. and bl besties were formed i know how yeah. was that for you oh my you regret gosh. you regret your life choices. and you came to see us in person we're now irl irl <laughs> friends yeah, and trevor we were supposed to be irl and then trevor I, was supposed to be at our season one like break photo shoot i was and then guess what 
You could have met mm-hmm. Tool's friend. I know. I could have met Tool. Like he's literally <laughs> he's literally sitting on Columbia yeah. campus. Meanwhile, he's looking he's for an apartment. He you, no, he he's found one now. Oh, he's in damn. an apartment now. Oh, damn. He's, okay. he's, he's done he just it. the night over here for a couple of days. <laughs> oh. anyways, anyways, listen. <laughs> I understand, Trevor. I understand. I understand. And, and did you find out like Apo was just living in New York City, literally like pre-COVID? Like a year ago? Yeah, or like two years now. He left when I left. I I'm I'm just not I'm just not I'm just not where the people are. Yeah. We'll have to do another photo shoot, and we'll invite Tool, who is our co-host, right? Remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. as right. everyone likes to remind us, we uh, we got like a comment the other day, and somebody was like, "I just want to remind you guys that like he's there, and so now <laughs> you need to invite him to your yeah. co-host." And we were like, "We're down. We're, trying, yeah. we're working out schedules. Our schedules are busy. Yeah, you guys are booked and busy. <laughs> we just started classes. We're doing the thing. Like, uh, it'll, yeah. it'll happen. Ridiculous. <laughs> but what I want to know is how you two became friends, because like we're all friends but like oh. y'all are friends like everybody's friends with each other but like how are y'all like how how did that connect oh happen me and trevor God. didn't talk for a little while because didn't we go over this are we gonna spill the tea oh, oh, it. do yes. it do it was there just, drama? Like, no there was no drama it was meeting? just like when we finally connected we were just like well i didn't know if you liked me or like you didn't know if i liked you oh my we god like stop that. it yeah was just, like full high school and business. i was like no Trevor, i love you and he's like no i love you too no yeah because i i think um i think i started i think i started following uh Robbie like, and, like liking the uh his stuff but i don't think he was doing the same thing to me so i'm like oh okay, okay um god. so i'm like oh is this is this what we're doing like uh am i, am I too small for you um i hear this from ayla and robbie a few times where people are where they're both like this person like likes some of our or they followed me but they don't like my stuff and no I'm no like, it's when they this? don't follow it's when yeah. they'll like like a bunch of your tiktoks and then they like don't follow like you know that situation it happens oh, when but you follow yeah. them yeah. basically like they don't follow back yeah. and you're like interacting but like mm-hmm. you followed and they didn't follow back so like you can't be dming <laughs> mm-hmm. it's a whole thing it's a well, whole yeah. thing also trevor we our collab with you <laughs> You came on an IG, a You're My Sky IG Live. Oh, that was so fun. How was that for you? Yeah. Like, are you okay? Yeah. Do you have we were, PTSD? We were also intoxicated. Well, I was intoxicated. I think I had a lot of wine. Can I just say, um, I don't remember how. I, I think, I don't remember how, like, you were co- You're My Sky you? saved me out of my rut. Mm-hmm. I'm a BL rut. And then I fell back into it afterwards. But it, it, like, it, like, it was so good. I was just like, wow, this is, this is insane. Um, and it, it's so, it's so amazing. It's so, and it's not from, it's not from like Studio Wabi Sabi or TV, right. mm-hmm. but it's so, it's quality. It's like, yeah. it's so quality, which, you know, there are other like uh, BLs that are not from big companies that are uh, amazing. But like, this show was like, really like, it took me out of, I guess, I guess again the rut that I was in, yeah. and I was just so like, I don't, it, was, it was just my my heart feels warm when talking about it. Like I recommended it to like all my friends as soon as I finished. I'm like, watch this. This is good. This is good. This is great. Um, and going on that live, um, <laughs> I was like so because here's the thing. I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not a, like my on my channel. I don't really do recap. Like I do. I do sometimes. There are times where I've like I I've recapped. I think. Uh. Manner of Death and and right. a Thousand Stars and I, that, I think that's the only thing I because that like yeah but I don't typically oh and Tone Hong Chun well but um, <laughs> <laughs> but like um I really don't recap because I'm I'm like kind of forgetful I'm like I so if I binge it which I was binging I'm like I forget things like things just tend to fall out but I remember vividly a lot I like everything from Your My Sky because it was yeah that, yeah it was it was beautiful and I was so happy that. I was allowed to be on the the, the live. Oh, so allowed. Stop it. Stop it. Lord, I'm mercy. remembering now because I too may have had a drink or two. Yeah, we were. I think we were we drinking. What, I might have had some drinks, and it, I'm I'm getting like flashbacks, like you know, like like unfortunate flashbacks. Yeah. And I'm remembering now. This is the IG live when we brought other fans on with us. Right. That was so cute. That yeah, was, was fun. Yeah. And this is. <laughs> Chris came in at the end. Yeah. 
Yes. And I fully was like in the chat. Yeah. In the the chat. chat. Yeah. And I fully was like, I think that Pan should get and to Sia. punch Dome in the face. No, so I was on another um, one, a different one. Uh. So I was on BL after dark. Mm. Um. And I was like, I think that Pan should get to punch Dome in the face at least once. I agree. And, thank yeah. you. And Chris was highly upset and everybody was like, violence is not the answer. And I was like, sometimes it is. Man, not the answer. Mm, I, I was like, violence is the answer when it comes to Dome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it out. I think Your My Sky gives us nostalgia of like the OG BLs mixed with like current. Mm. But That's like, what it reminds yeah, me. Yeah, but like, it yeah. came like. Sodas? It's it like, it's, yeah. like it's, it's too, though is the thing, and it's yeah. like so well made. Yeah, this is not a your my sky podcast, so <laughs> we're no, gonna it get into like, it. Could okay, be. It, it could be. It's not a your my sky episode, but it's a your my sky podcast. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Um. Okay. Before we start talking about like the deep stuff, we're gonna talk about like some deep stuff. You guys, it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be it's gonna so be wild. Like, Fun we're, deep we're going stuff. deep. Oh no. First question, oh. though, because we're not playing Lost in Translation, we're playing a different game. Yeah. First question, rapid fire. What was your first BL? Game Boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Um, I always go back to these two because this is what I could remember in the back of my head. I think it was Addicted Heroin. Interesting. Oh. When did you get into BL? Um, well, as a gay, you, I'm always searching for gay that, cinema. That, um, so I mean, like, <laughs> out of the womb, whoop. Yeah. um, but I think, oh my god, probably 20, 2013. Oh, so no. that can't be so true. No, what, what I remember watching, watching. What, whenever, whenever it came out, so maybe twenty fourteen is when it 14? really got, yeah, yeah. yeah 14, I remember, yeah. I remember, I remember when it got cut, and I was like, "What do we do now?" Like, I remember that. Oh, oh I didn't know that. Oh, well, uh, we need to have another episode with like BL history with Trevor. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I, I also have bad memories, so no <laughs> <laughs> trauma, trauma, no, right. trauma. But no, yeah, I. So, so I always go back between that one and then no, actually, no, that's that, that's the one. Okay. Uh, but I but I also watched a lot of BL like movies. Right. Like, what was your first Thai one? Yeah. What was your first like Thai? Or did you start with Taiwan? Maybe. I don't know. I think I I, I, think, I, might, I think I might have started with Taiwan. Yeah. And but there was a lot of Taiwan Taiwanese like. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. I don't think some of the more movies I watched were BLs, but rather gay themed. Right. But um, I think because mm, I don't because uh, there's there's one called Blue Hour, the Blue Hour, yeah, with, with Earth, with that Earth, Gun, 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 um, and yeah, Ob, the director and, of Nami. Mm, and I think I watched. I think that might have been one of the first ones, and it was very dark and like, ooh, ooh. yeah. That's but also, I also watched. Like I watched a lot in, in a span of a time, yeah. so it's like yeah. it's like all blends together. But I think that might have been one of the first mm -hmm. Thai movies I watched. Okay, next up, what is your favorite BL? <laughs> Currently, Currently. It, it, it might change eventually. Do you want to take this one, Robbie, or should I? Well, you go first until we meet again. Okay, that's a solid choice. <laughs> yeah, I have brought her up, but Trevor likes to cry. Right. I'm just like in the first seven minutes. It's seven minutes. Like first thirty seconds to, yeah. for me. Truly, I I knew it was gonna happen. I clocked it. Mm -hmm. Like as soon as no one warned me, by the way. And why would you? <laughs> what I clocked <laughs> it within the first thirty seconds. And as like it kept going, and I realized what was I literally. Yeah. I mean, and shout out to Little Earth for making me feel the feelings because oh. I like imprinted on him immediately i'm like screaming yeah. at the tv no 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 i'm like screaming yeah mm. yeah even thinking about it makes me sad <laughs> like, oh. i i i, I <laughs> held back that one for good reason yeah because you when never i really talk about happen. what was written in the original note when she told me to watch or not watch it because it's offensive oh, it's fine <laughs> oh my god okay now, now i kind of want to know You'll have to listen to the podcast. She says it at least a hundred times. Because it was so <laughs> offensive. 
Listen, I've changed my ways. I can grow and evolve as a person. Eventually, she got there. Love that for you. I always go back to We Best Love. Mm. Ooh, okay. It's always We Best Love or Because of You, but We Best Love is just has something. Solid choice. Yeah. Mm. Those are like my two tops. Like, we all know which what which one of the first ones, but those are the two that just mm. uh, just I could rewatch all the time. Yeah, oh, that's a good choice. Okay, favorite ship. <laughs> okay, this doesn't. Okay, um, I need categories for that one. One Only because one ship to rule them all. What Who is it? what is Ooh. the ship content that you consume the most? Yeah, that's, that's how we right get now, to it. Or just over, Who do you like, go back and watch right the now? most? <laughs> right now. Right now, right now. Right now. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, <laughs> God. <laughs> oh my okay. God. I mean, it's Mugol Mugol 2.0. Like, you can't yes, not. Right. That, I think that's why, because of course I was going to say Mugol, but they are no more right now. It's like so, Mugol Jr. Yeah, I think that's why. Like S Club Juniors, but like. It's like yeah. It's like watching yeah. a BL happen in real, in real time. Life, yeah. yeah, fascinating. Yeah, I mean, they just landed in Korea and had like a K-pop style welcome, and that's like crazy. That's mm. wild. It's still my turn, isn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you still have to say. Uh, I'm going to say that. Shoot, my runner-up is Boon Prem. Okay. Nice. They're OGs and I love them. They're my OGs. But I will say in the same show, uh Om Fluke. Om Fluke. Ooh, Om Fluke, Om Fluke is just oh, they're just so good. Mm-hmm. Close friend, this the second season was incredible. Oh Ooh, I didn't want. Oh my after we do this, you better go watch it immediately. The production <laughs> is super. Herb and mm. the storyline is excellent and yeah, I mean you have Kim Cop and Om Fluke. <gasps> oh, wait. okay, so wait a minute, cause come on, Kim Cop. But like, remember, we're talking about as a ship, like the ship <clears throat> oh. of it, like the ship of it okay. all. Okay, because because I have a just obsession with with Copter. Right, yeah. I feel like that's pretty common. Although I'm like a Kim and girl, so <laughs> you know, I know. and I understand that. I, I was that. I was really obsessed with the Kim Cop ship when I first got into Kim Cop because their ship work early days is really funny because <laughs> Kimin was still figuring out the whole like do I want to like fully embrace this situation and and Copter was like yes I got this and they were just like a fun twosome of like Kim and admired Copter, like you could tell, mm. and they had like a sweet friendship. But they, Kim and had done BL before, mm. and had had other other partners before in shows, but had not done ship work. And so it's mm. such a funny dynamic to see them, because Star Hunter gave them a lot of ship work, and they were like, "Oh, what do we do?" It goes to the question that we always think: like, do these boys discuss their ship work prior to? Or are they yeah. just like, let's see what happens? Do they just roll <laughs> like they just roll in and they're like, we're gonna see what happens? There's one particular ship that I'm dying to know. Like, have they discussed <laughs> how to play the ship? Because right, yeah. we all know they're like playing ships, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So like, do they discuss that or do they do they just like feel it out? Or are they like, <laughs> hey, this is how I am in relationships? Let's just do that. Well, yeah. I always thought they like, okay, they put them together and they want to, like, the managers or the companies want to see their chemistry together before they officially make it like, all right, your ship together. You think yeah. they do screen tests, like, chemistry tests? Yeah. Gonna, oh, 100%. I think, uh, think they make them hang like, out. Okay, this this. Yeah, oh. I think they make them hang out and like, okay, how did And how then did they watch them. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we talk a lot about BLs, about kind of the culture of BL, about what it means. Of course, we're both allies. And so it, it means something different for us than obviously anybody in the community, the LGBTQIA plus community. And so we always love to give voices to those who are actually in the community and these stories are actually being told about in theory. Which, by the way, not that we're giving you voices because you're both very popular and have your own platform. (laughs) Not that we're, like, granting you something special. (laughs) 
it's a good collaboration. We love yeah, 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 each yeah. other. You we want to hear you. from you. <laughs> because, yeah, these stories are not about our lived experience yeah. for so many reasons. But they are, in theory, about yours. Yeah. In theory. In theory. In theory. <laughs> in theory. Yeah. So let's start with how you found BL, why you love BL, like why you attach to it to the point to, that you're like, I'm going to be a BL creator. Like I'm yeah. going to do content about BL because that's a dedication. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you want me to go first, Trevor? Oh, I why? Go, was, talk. Can, yeah, do it. Okay. Well, I'm not going to say how old I am, but I grew up in a time <laughs> where <laughs> being gay was like that weird in between. It wasn't terrible but it wasn't good either mm -hmm. so how i got into like stuff like the gay community was like gay cinema like how trevor said earlier i watch everything but by watching everything everything's so limited like it's so limited so i started watching stuff overseas like france which is crazy like france italy spain they actually have a lot of gay cinema more than yeah. america did at the time so that's how I stumbled across Game Boys. It was on Netflix, and then it was just like a rabbit hole for me. So I think for me, it's just like representation to a certain extent. You get like- So after Game Boys, did you, like, what was that journey? Like, how did you find the other BLs? Did you just start Googling like Filipino gay stories? Or like, how, like, how did you get from Game Boys to like this? So world? what I did was I looked up Game Boys and I, and I went to their um, IMD, like platform and it says yeah. and you could just scroll to the bottom and it says stuff that's connected or similar to a game oh. so like me this is like from like and this is how i got all my bls oh. wow oh interesting. interesting so that's how i started watching bls because i went yeah. to like related to uh that series and that's then smart right. Yeah, I do that on Netflix mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I never thought about doing that on IMDb yeah so then that's you know how BL came into my life, and now I'm in this rabbit hole of creating BL content. Yeah. So then, what made you want to go to into creating content? Um, I I yeah. wanted friends because I knew <laughs> no one. I knew no one. Yeah, you don't want to be in this world alone. Be my yeah. friend. So, <laughs> you want to talk about it with someone? Like you yeah. want to talk about it because it's like you know what? Be I grew up like I'm Mexican, so I grew up with telenovelas, and BL reminds me of novelas, yes. but gay. So I was like, you know, I had my gra my grandma, I had my abuelita. We would watch novelas together. So I needed someone to talk about my BLs with. No one. I went searching. I was like, do you know what BL is? They were like, what? What are you talking about? So I took to TikTok. And it was a rabbit hole. That's when I started meeting everybody. Because, like, yeah. I think everyone thinks I've been in the game for a while. Yeah. But I, I would only, agree. I only started BL last year. Wow. I'm wild. super new. I just, I think it's being a social media, it's kind of a luck game. And then like, just if people kind of like, like your content and stuff. So I kind of like just started making content, having fun and talking to people. And I think my content did well. And then I started getting like followers and then people thought like, oh, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I really don't know the answer to this. Like, <laughs> I'm really new to this. So then that's when, of course, Trevor would come in or Sammy or Bobby. And I'd be like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say because it's just that. I I feel like you, you guys are new too. I think that was the whole thing why we bonded was because you guys got into it last year too, a little earlier than me. Yeah, then, but like you and I, we really chatted yeah. because I remember when we first like, became mutuals on tiktok you fully dm'd and you were like what can you recommend and i was like oh, we're in the same boat my friend <laughs> yeah. i was like i'm still working through a list basically like i was like i'm still working through my list but here's yeah. what i got yeah so it was one of those things and then of course you know just representation i think that's the big thing like i mean the world is changing in a positive way um, <laughs> listen it's it's changing and i think um just seeing like two boys on screen kiss and have a healthy relationship as time is like something that almost gives people like it's it's okay it's we're not gonna yeah. kill you where it's like we're not a disease we're not gonna like we're not contagious we're just right. people so i think even though bl is kind of like that fairy tale like i compare bl sometimes to like not all bl 
but most we also like like that fairy tale for like straight people so like for me it's like a fairy tale like it's my way of like my prince and prince you know so it's just like a form of just like oh you know so it makes me feel good and i love it Oh yeah. yeah, we have talked. About, we have talked a little bit about how it's interesting that a B, that BL has evolved to a place where everybody that the couple is connected to, friends, family, are okay now with them being gay. It's society they're making more com- like commentary in the, in about the story. in the series. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so that like you know the whole fairy tale of it all, where it's like not everybody has that so it's nice to kind of see that on screen mm-hmm. like that hopefulness but there's still a recognition that society still has things to do yes so yeah okay trevor i'm dying to know though because like we know pop out the womb you're <laughs> looking for the content <laughs> how about but- the womb yeah, but absolutely. let's talk about how so like how did you get from just like searching out gay storylines gay media to kind of the niche of bl which like tends to fall into like we talk about it like thailand taiwan the philippines Mm. now singapore which is cool right so like the last year korea has started a pop off but like how did you get into this like i mean really i feel like we can say like thailand kind of like pioneered this niche of bl right Mm, like they were kind of some of the first it's like how did you get from just like gay media, gay storylines to, like, this niche of BL? So, yeah. um, You know, again, going back to, like, the gay storylines and, like, you know, there was, like, all those, like, like comedy shows on, like, HBO, like, you, like USA of Tara um, or, like, even Spartacus, where they had gay characters. Yeah. Uh, but not, like, they weren't, they weren't the center, right? So, it was, like, so, like, um, even just like, yeah, looking up the storylines and just like watching like cuts of shows that are like just purely gay. But to get into that, the, the niche, so like, you know, Thailand, Taiwan, um, like you said, even Korea, um, I think in part was like through like Yaoi or like anime. No. Um, was kind of like because like yeah i was definitely looking like for regular shows but i was also looking for like animated ones as well and uh yaoi was definitely a really like big one as well um which leads which led me to like you know uh yaoi manga and all that stuff and yeah. mangas and all that stuff which were uh whoo um i'm pretty sure there was a rating and i was not i shouldn't have been reading some of those um <laughs> I mean, okay. listen, there are readings I'm like, I shouldn't be reading them now as, like, an adult. Way. We hear about this material for these shows. And it's, <laughs> it's, it's a lot. But, um, yeah, and I think um, just that constant search mm. landed me to um, find, again, Addicted Heroin, um, which is, like, my, I, think, I think I consider my first BL. Yeah. Um, and then from there going to like you know just watching more um like you know movies and stuff um yeah. i'm i don't remember i don't know how old my drama list is um yeah. but either. um i think i i think i was i think i was using that or a, or a different website with a similar list that just had just mm. gay film and somehow somehow i just i just felt like you know um Tai- Taiwan and Thailand were doing it really, really good. Yeah. Uh, even Jap- even Japan, which Japan, Japanese, yeah, yeah. Japanese BL movies are either the most cutest things or the most yeah, or like hardcore. They die. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. they have right. like, like hardcore sex. Yeah. Yeah. They hardcore, like hardcore sex. They die. They die. Yeah, or they fall in love and happy ever after, or right. it, or a combination of all three, or like, they it, just like never kiss. Yeah, they just look longingly at each other a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can I I can tell you a whole. I, I watched a lot of BL movies, like a little too much. Um, um, I know my drama list was first launched in 2011. Ooh, so that so I could have been using that website. It's possible. Um, I feel like your journey is so cool because yeah. uh, honestly, I don't hear from a lot of people that they got into it from like 
film, oh, right? Yeah. Like hearing you say that, like maybe the Blue Hour was your first film. I'm like, oh my god, like that's a way to get into it. Yeah, Jeez. yeah. The, oh, that movie was whoo, um, drama. It, but, sounds, um, cool. it sounds intense because I've heard Gun because they worked with the same director for Not Me, so they mm-hmm. talked about the Blue Hour a little bit, and Gun and Off had Obe on their off gun fun night and they yeah. talked about that and it was it sounded intense yeah yeah it, it's it's yeah it yeah i do i recommend it no but it's there if you want to watch it yeah. um <laughs> that's yeah. how i feel about like red wine in the dark night like <laughs> oh yeah. oh my god <laughs> like do i want to recommend it no, no but like it's there, it's it's there. Like, the first the first two minutes of that movie, I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, <laughs> what do you think the tidy whitey budget was on that? <laughs> uh, 25 cents a piece? <laughs> Though that I mean, they, first of all, they were really thin underwear. They were like super thin. And everybody everybody had them. So I, I was think- like wasted the first time we watched that. <laughs> yeah. And truly, my advice is you have to be. <laughs> I, I think so. I think so. I didn't remember anything from it. I think I was just like a really like adolescent just watching and just like <gasps> oh my god, wait, <sighs> speaking of that, this so you know we're in like right around the one year anniversary of Let's Talk Beal. Mm-hmm. We watched that the night. I remember why we were drunk. I'm I'm remembering <laughs> oh now god. why we were wasted. <laughs> We, we were went in down. City. <laughs> we were in we were in Atlantic City, which is reason enough to be yeah. wasted. <laughs> oh gosh! But we went down to a bar and we were having a planning meeting for the podcast. We were like, "What kind of stuff would we talk about if we started a podcast?" Oh wow! We, we, yeah. Oh my gosh. And then we got super wasted because the bartender. I don't remember why he was making the drink so strong. He just was. He was. And then yeah, we went on red wine in the dark night. It was a it was a bad weather night, and I think he was like, maybe they'll give me lots of more money. tips. Yeah, because yeah, there weren't that many people there. <laughs> right. Anyways, yeah, we watched that movie, and that's why we were drunk. Because <laughs> we <laughs> went on in the dark, of... dark night. Chris and yeah. let's talk to all that explains so much. That explains so much. Yeah, it's interesting to hear you guys talk about how you got into BL because we, of course, got into it somewhat via K-pop. Right. Yeah. And, everybody has a different story and there's like no true one way and obviously no one true pipeline. Like we, our experience is different from everybody else's experience. Mm -hmm. Just because you like K-pop doesn't mean you're going to get into BL. Uh, And so, yeah, there's a a bunch of different ways and it's interesting to hear. Yeah. The history. But so again, going back to coming out of, out the womb, um, looking for the gay medias. Yeah. Um, I'm super curious to know now that you're grown and you have <laughs> I am grown. BL, you pay your own bills. Now that you're grown and you have the BL, what do you think? And, and BL obviously like means something to you if you're creating mm-hmm. content, right? Mm-hmm. What do you think it would have been like, or like the impact would have been on you if you had BL as maybe like a teenager or when you were first? Uh, like I, I don't know either of your. I guess we we haven't talked about this with any of you guys and you don't have to share, but like when you were finding your sexuality and how you felt, if you had had BL, like if you had had this type, like this niche of BL, that what is... do you think that would have done okay. for you? Not to get serious, but um, I might have to. Oh, um, ready for it. Well, I'm so ready. like, I was like, I, I, ooh, mm, I always, there was always a inclination. Like I always knew, I, I, I kind of really knew at a very young age and I had this weird relationship <laughs> with like God, um, which, which, which I would always apologize. Like my mom would say, Trevor, you're always apologizing to yourself. What's going on? That was like me talking to God every time I had like a, a like a, a, like a, mm-hmm. a thought. So I had like, so people thought I had this, this tick. Like I would just like apologize every five seconds. Like it was, it was really bad. Um, and so, but here's the thing. I don't remember that being implicitly implemented in my house. Like, like nobody ever said, mm. you know, it's wrong to be like, nobody ever said that. Uh, but that was something that I, from somewhere that I don't know, I took upon that. I took, I took that on to myself. Um, so, so that kind of, 
the kind of that's that's the kind of thing that you know really kept me in the closet per se um because i was just like you know like god's gonna be angry you know like all that all that good stuff right um and so i really was very hush hush um and and there wasn't a lot of you know like i have aunts that are lesbian um so my family is not like we're not they would have accepted they would have accepted me anyway um um but in terms of like if i had bl younger i mean i started watching bl when i was maybe 15 yeah, or so after i was young yeah. anyway um but also like i was like I'm to get too serious. I was like on YouTube on the family computer searching up like boys kissing, and and uh, I didn't and I did not know how to delete the browser. So they already knew. <laughs> so somebody I was like leaving evidence everywhere. Um, so I guess I, the I, question then for you would be mm. what what would it have been like if BL was more mainstream as it is yeah. now? Like it's more talked about. There's bigger community. There's like oh. the TikTok community. I mean, like you yeah, see, if like, you'd had that community. Like what we talked about earlier, you see Cutie Pie going to Korea and there's like at least a hundred people welcoming. Yeah. Like if it was like, oh, that's interesting because, huh? No, that's a really good question. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think because if it, it became, if it was, because right now it's still even a little niche still. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. If it was more mainstream, um, you'd see America to be doing it well. Like, you'd see, you'd, they're, they're, I think, I think every, for some reason in my eyes, everything that America does that is like gay, it always seems like, it always seems gay themed and not like, like BL, if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm. and so I think, I think, like gay adjacent? But, yeah, like it's like gay adjacent. Um, so yeah, I, I just think, I think, I think maybe, um, I think maybe, uh, there'd be, you know, my thoughts on like religious stuff like that. Maybe it, it would have, like, if I had more gay media, maybe that would have been different. Or maybe like, even like, like, I'd have more gay friends, mm, um, yeah. growing up. Maybe like, Cause if, if we if we if you all just saw that and like that was mainstream, it's like oh right. did you watch that show yesterday? Oh yeah, I caught it. Or no, I like that would have been maybe I would it would have just been more. It'd be it'd be talked about more essentially. I think. Yeah, I mean I think, I think more you're friends, funny yeah. about like no one in your household or in your family said like it's wrong to be gay. Yeah. like God is gonna be mad at you if you're gay, but you had that thought anyways. I think just kind of shows like the pervasiveness of homophobia yeah. still in America, right? Yeah. That like. You don't know where you heard it, but clearly it's so pervasive that you felt that as like a kid. Yeah. Right. And like, that's the problem is that mm. even though no one was like telling you those words, you felt that. Right. So like, clearly it's pervasive enough in our media, in all of the things that we consume in our society that like, as a kid, you felt that even mm. though like, you know, your parents never said that to you. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. I told my mom one time <laughs> we were going, we were coming home uh, and like from laundry mat, whatever. And I was like, uh, she's like, oh, take the laundry bag out of the um, uh, the car, or whatever. And I was like, uh, no, I can't. I you I said the word, no, I can't. I'm a sissy, right? Uh, and she's like, oh my god, if you are, that's totally okay. <laughs> and I like, if you are, that's totally fine. And I'm like. Wait a minute! I just said I meant I was weak. I couldn't. I don't want to lift it. You're like uh, it's a joke, mom. It's a joke, mom. I like no, because I'm like oh, I meant I meant that I was weak and could not physically lift that. She thought something else, and I'm like, wait a minute, back it up, back it up, back it up. Ah, uh, but yeah, but you know, yeah. When You're I like, actually, that's yeah. not how I wanted this to play out. I'm just like, ooh, I take it back, I take it back. Oh no, yeah. no. But, but when I actually came out to my mom, that was it. Was actually, I was sick for five days before I did it. Oh my God. I got, I got super sick and it wasn't like, I, it wasn't like I, I caught like a bug or anything. I, I think, I think, I think yeah. the pressure to do it mm -hmm. was so severe that I was, I got physically ill. Mm -hmm. Um, And then, and then I walked, I, and it was really interesting. I walked in, in her room. I'm like, hey mom, can I talk to you? She's like, yeah. And I, uh, I told her, um, do you remember the thing you asked me? Um, and then she said, oh, that you're gay. Um, and I was like, yeah. And she says, you are? And I'm like, yeah. 
Uh, and she was like, she's like, she like, it was it was a really very warm moment. She was like, she didn't say like, haha, I already know, but like, because <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I again, I was leaving signs everywhere, <laughs> like, yeah, gay yeah. on my forehead. But like, um, yeah, that was, I think, I think, and again, my family did not put that on me. I, I think I put all that mm-hmm. on myself. And I, again, I do not know where that came from. I think, I think, I think as I grew up, more of those things became implicit. But when I was younger, I don't remember where any of that came from. Um, yeah, but, that's right. Yeah, and now I'm just really, really gay. (laughs) And that's the problem with society that you're like, because that's like subliminal messaging, right? It's how like, you know something, but you're like, why do I Mm. like, I don't recall how I know this or why I have heard this. I'm like, Um, that's the problem. Yeah. With America. (laughs) Yeah. In in our society. Yeah, obviously, like, and this is always this, this, like, I've heard like my coworkers one time saying like, Oh, why are they like forcing gay stuff on TV? I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, like, like gay people haven't existed. Like, like nobody's forcing anything in your face. Right. Like, um, yeah. like, like you, like you're making it sound unnatural. Which mm. that's that's weird. That's weird. Like, like, yeah. like, I like you. You're nobody saying why are they why are they shoving like hetero sexuality in my face, which I could say that, I but I won't. Not, no, <laughs> but like, it's such a, it's such a weird mindset. Like, yeah. like, and, and to be like, to be like, like homophobic doesn't make any sense to me. I'm like, what, like, like I'm gay, you're not. How does that affect you? Right. How does it? And like, if it does, I need, I need sources. At least 10, like 10 sources, like MLA format. Like, cause I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's probably like, that's another thing about kind of like our society and like to your, you know, your point of like, you don't know where you heard this. You just felt it. Cause Mm -hmm. I remember when Delta rolled out, like I've always fly Delta and Delta rolled out. Like, you know how, when you're walking onto the plane, they've got like their ads on the, I don't know what that thing's called, but the thing that pops out the airport and connects you to the plane, you know, that thing. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's all, yeah. you know, the thing, um, I'm sure it has like a real name, but they have their ads in there. Right. And I remember Delta came out with a set of ads where it was like two guys clearly like, just like in a relationship, like going on a trip together somewhere. Like they're mm-hmm. like, it's not like they're not kissing, but they're like, you know, like touching each other and like leaning on each other. Like it's obvious they're a couple. And I remember like when that first came out, I was like walking down the tunnel and I heard somebody be like, why do they have to have this out for everyone to see? And like, I heard it and I was like, ooh, that's like, what? Like, I remember just being like more confused than anything else that like, that's what you're concerned with. Mm-hmm. But like those kind of comments, right? Like we hear that stuff, yeah, right? Like all the time, even if you don't like necessarily like, or you don't think you're internalizing it, like we hear mm-hmm. that stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Robbie. Yeah, Robbie. Um, uh, you discovered BL much later. You were not 15. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, no. just kidding. You're 16 now. So, like, you definitely found it when you were 15. Yeah, no. I watched, like, gay cinema in high school and stuff, though. But, yeah. Wait, what was the question? <laughs> I talked I so long. I'm sorry. Too. No, uh, you're okay. Because mine's probably going to get worse. But... No, like, so... The question really is, what do you think that the impact would have had on you, little Robbie, young Robbie, teenage Robbie, <laughs> if Robbie had BL, right? If Robbie had Game Boys at 15, at you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. 14, 15, like yeah. what would that impact? And what it, would that have done for you? And even though it is niche, the conversation is on social media and TikTok mm-hmm. and like you see it kind of everywhere. And I'm sure I'm sure the teens are getting to the the youths the youth. Oh you know? yeah, my, my students. I wore this to school. I've worn this Aww. to school, and they're like, oh, "I like your shirt." I'm like, "No, yeah. subscribe." Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but please don't. <laughs> I'm a walking ad at this. No, we club. we welcome the, the youths. The youths, yeah. Right. Right. I don't Just, know. That's the the reason why that's a tough question is because in high school, like I, that's when the glee of it all so we had the curve we had like that 
And even though you did have some people who were just like, oh, it's 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 nice, blah, blah, blah you still had like homophobia, homophobe. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. It's just like, it's with the time. I'm very big on like every, like it's learn hatred and learn homophobia mm-hmm. because like you yeah. have these young little kids in like preschool and like kindergarten who haven't like don't understand the concept of like our society yet mm-hmm. and don't see color, don't see like, a, like your everything like they don't care they really don't so like trevor i grew up in a super religious household um i grew up with a uh christian baptist side and a catholic side which oh oh my gosh yeah oh my god (laughs) neither neither agreed with homosexuality and they made it very known Mm. so i grew up like a little differently i grew up like with hearing like oh what a waste of a man if like like ricky martin like i still remember like hopefully my grandma never sees this because she'll probably be like hurt by it but like things you remember you remember like ricky martin would pop up and she's like oh what a beautiful man but what a waste of a man because he was gay so it was like you remember that stuff growing up so it was it was hard because even though i grew up with like yeah gay cinema for me, it probably would have been like, oh, n- an outlet, which it kind of was. It's still, I don't know if it would have made a big impact on like mm. family life. Yeah. Mm. So like from middle school to sophomore year of high school, I remember getting bullied a lot because I wasn't out, but it was a little, it was obvious. Like I was like, it was obvious. I was not completely straight. I was either bisexual or I was gay and people yeah. knew it. But of course, like I was like, no, I'm not. I'm straight. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so yeah, it would, maybe it would have been nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it, it was a different Robbie. You guys like the and then the the internal homophobia like that you have to hide. Like you have right. to hide to so yeah. butch it up. Like my voice was deep. I didn't act the way I acted. I played sports. I had a girlfriend for four years. Like it was like a whole thing. Yeah. So, yeah, because didn't you played football, right? Like, didn't we talk about this? I played football, wow. baseball, soccer. Um, wow. all that stuff yeah I you're my sky these- but make it straight you're my sky but-, <laughs> but make it dome oh my god robbie were you the dome I were you it. the real life dome stop i, I don't want to tell- that's a different story for a different <laughs> that's day. Okay. This is why you were dome okay you guys i don't know if you can keep this in but i'm gonna tell you a story i am dome <gasps> well, wasn't my, no. it was my sister's brother. boyfriend it was my sister's best friend's brother, and my best friend liked him. God. And I best friend's brother kissed him at a party and made out with it. him. Wow. You're the dome. That makes so much sense now. This is why you're a dome defender. Oh my god. It's um, more dome. Yeah. It's not my fault. He came on to me. So maybe he was the dome. Uh, okay, dome. Oh, okay. Oh, dome. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's what Dome said. That, and that's what Chris said when he when talking about it. He was like, Well, if V had never like done that eight seconds trick, like he never would have fought. I was like, uh, nah. Oh my god, it was. You know what? He grabbed my hand at the party and like tickled my hand. Did you was, have you a judge? <laughs> I we are a hundred percent Oh, that. I'm keeping this. Oh my god! It makes We're so like unlocking sense. memories. Yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> well, back to the question. <laughs> yeah, it was it? a t- it was a tough time. Media, if BL was in there, I think it would have helped the blow. Like maybe it would have made me more friends because, mm-hmm. like, you have like the gl- the Glee people, like <laughs> Glee people. <laughs> you know. Um, but wait, and, what were they called? Gleeks. Gleeks. Yeah, yeah. I knew it was Gleeks. And then. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor's too young for Glee. Yeah, that's yeah. how I reacted in real time to yeah. it. So. Gleeks? Yeah, there were Gleeks or something. There was a Glee club. I remember all that weird. Okay. I'm not weird, not weird. It was different. No, not weird. Um, it was different. <laughs> it was different. I love them. They were cool. They were nice. So I finally came out in sophomore year. I said it was, I just didn't care anymore. It was just like, we're going to let this. It was There was also a boy, a senior boy who ruined my life, but that's a different story for a different oh. day. Oh my God. I, think it's, I think it's a good story for this day. What? What, oh what is this, BL? Uh, yeah, there was a senior boy. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want the story, I could give you that tea. Yes, okay. I absolutely want Oh it. my God, this is literally, my life is a BL. I literally cannot tell you guys. Okay, so there was me and another sophomore. His name was Corey. Okay. We were, both, we were both um, gay, but like not telling everybody. Like it was starting to be known, but like we were friends. So there was these two senior boys. He liked one. I liked the other one. 
Good. Well, these two boys were boyfriends, but they broke up. So oh, one God. of the boy, both these boys found out me and Corey came out as gay. And we're like fresh me. Like we're fresh, no boyfriends, no nothing. <laughs> so one of the boys messages Corey and one of the boys messages me. Oh, is it the is it is it the opposite one? No, the it's, one? it's right. It's, it's the actually, right ones have the right ones. The, the right seniors. The right yeah, seniors so have messaged not, the right not a BL. Okay, not a, not a BL because you would have got no. Her. It gets worse. <laughs> this is the fluffy. So then we're talking. Everything's going magical. We're we're secretly dating these boys now. Me and Corey know, oh but we God. so these seniors take advantage of us in the sense where we don't want people to know. So they're like, perfect. So we're like, they're low key boyfriends. Mm. So it gets worse. So then we're dating the boys. And then later on, me and my boy break up. Cause I was like, this mofo is toxic. And <laughs> he's ruining my life. Like he's nice. ruining my life. Um, I was like, so I, I was just like, I needed a break. Well, during this break, I found out a lot of information. Mm -hmm. So him and the ex-boyfriend had hooked up while we were together. <gasps> Yeah. So what do I do? I tell my best friend. Well, because he's of my course. best friend at the time. Yeah. I tell him. And he's, a, of course, upset. He confronts him, blah, blah, blah. But they stay together. Uh, and then, uh, so then <laughs> here comes the senior boy back. And he freaking says everything correctly. And what does my dumb self do? I get back with him. Mm, of course. Of course. That's part of the plot. So I'm with him for a couple more months. And then towards the end, it's just like, it's not working out. So it's kind of just like, we get in a fight. And pre before we break up, he's like, see, like, I was just like, this is why we're not going to work out. And he goes, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, that's why I hooked up with your best friend, too. <gasps> oh, my God. That's episode 11. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's the cursed episode. So, <laughs> the series cut there. That's it. Yeah. So no, I, I found oh out my, my best friend also hooked up with my while well, we were together. It wasn't even like while we were broken up. It, was while it we wasn't together. while you were on a break. We're not on a break. So then you me, can't trust the gays. Oh my god, I'm so sad. If you see this, Corey, I'm sorry because we've 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 evolved. We're kind of friends now. Right. We're uh, we're grown now. We're grown now. I'm married. Yeah. He's doing his thing. <laughs> um so we we developed this like me and my best friend are like this is going to sound gross, but we're the popular gays. Hmm. So we are. This feels right. Him. This feels right. <laughs> and then there's me. So then because of this, I'm just like, I'm never trusting you, blah, blah. So it becomes like a competitive high school thing. Like who's the better gay? So it just, it, it <laughs> was just the boring. biggest gaggle. The biggest. <laughs> so I'm good. After that, after that whole best friend hooked up with my boyfriend thing, I was done with the boyfriend and I was done yeah. with the best friend. I walked away and he graduated. So it was perfect. Him, on the other hand, I he was still messing with not my ex-boyfriend, his ex-boyfriend. Mm. Mm. So it was a journey. And then, yeah. My God. Oh, Messy. yeah. And I don't know if I could say this, but I don't know if you keep this part in. Now, um, <laughs> I'm, every time you preface it, I'm just going to keep it in. Like, I'm <laughs> And this is how no she's going to promo this episode is literally you just saying, it's I don't know. It's all the clips of Robbie going, I don't know if you can keep this in. <laughs> um, um. I, I don't want to say Corey's real name now, but Corey is transgender. She mm. goes by her now, she, her. And she's actually very, she's kind of like social media famous as well because she's oh. kind of, a, yeah, I'll send you guys that stuff later. <laughs> but she's like, she's a model. She's modeled for American Apparel. She's done oh, everything. Wow. Oh, that's she's, actually, she's actually going to be on a Netflix show. She's she's oh, doing her thing. We're actually oh. friends now. Now that we don't, because we don't like the same men. So we're Amazing. good. You, know? you guys can yeah. co-produce that BL. Yes. Yeah, we should. Yes. We should. But yeah, so it was a wild high school journey for me. But it's okay. I'm superior. I went homecoming <laughs> king, best dress, everything. So. Of course you Okay, did. so I feel like the answer to would BL have made an impact Yes, in the sense that I feel like you would have just taken the BL themes and like weaved them into your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I feel like you would have helped me guide my life. Maybe you would have been like, right. I did it better. <laughs> I did it better. Yeah, I did. And maybe it would have helped guide me through these this nonsense. Yeah, you would have been picking garbage oranges out of the, out the trash <laughs> can, or maybe would have helped me deal with like the. I'm straight, but I'm in only into you in high school. Because oh! oh! <laughs> oh. let me tell you guys, I 
Shut up. Of, I dealt with a lot of straight boys, but we're only into me in high school. So I'm that, only gay for you. So I'm only gay what for in you. the sodas? Oh, what mm. in the Amazing. Okay, so wait, si- side random question. If each of you could star in your own BL, like in any of the BLs that have come out, that like what of. what would you have wanted your, your life to look like? Or like what? And you can take one of the boys. You can take one of the boys as your like co-star. Okay. Yeah. So you guys know, I tell you guys this all the time, the BL or like the, the series I hate and I cannot stand, but I understand why I hate it and I cannot stand it. It's because like I feel like I left lived it. Friend zone. Yeah. <laughs> Remember I told you guys how much I hate friend zone and I yeah. like literally it's it was my life. It's such a good mess though. I but love like it. It, which one would you pick? Like if you could have your like fairy tale fantasy, Robbie fa- like which one? Trevor. Trevor Trevor's got an answer. You're yeah, ready. Yeah. Yeah. Feel it. Um guys of Felicula. Um mm-hmm. I would mm-hmm. I would uh, guys of Felicula, I would take play. Have you guys seen that? Yeah. 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 Was, I would was, was I would take I would take Carl out and so I'm Carl. Okay. Okay. Um and oh, I make just it a happy ending? Yeah, I mean, I'd make it a happy ending. Okay. Um but <laughs> I uh, and I just I, but I, here's the thing. I'm I I love how sometimes like the boys are like resistant against the guy who's like very eager. I'm not resistant at all. I <laughs> you say you like me Okay, like I am, I'm, I'm going. <laughs> I'm, I'm head. Uh, mm, sorry, I'm thinking about a lot of things right now. Like, like if, like if Vlad, if like if Vlad came up to me and said, "It called me pancake." <laughs> I mean, he'd be putty. What, what does he want for breakfast in the morning? Listen, like that's, any, that's how I, I feel do. like any like food, like human anything. Human? I'm with <laughs> you. No, truly, because like we, this episode's already out found out that this one boy's cat's name is cabbage and in that moment he was so endeared to me i was like oh my god (laughs) and for no other reason than he thought the word was cute right had nothing to actually do with the food i'm like crying over this cat's name being cabbage like no i feel you because like this is me yeah I cry over everything. I started crying the other day. I just cry and so yeah (laughs) you like be like kind of nice to me and i'm like i'd be like No, yeah, like, but also, I think I, I think I mean I try not to be one of those delusional people. I'm mean, be like, oh, that's not a hat. Like, like that. This is this is like just nothing. That's you know? not like, delusional. That's just wishful thinking. So like manifesting. I've, we call yes! it manifesting. I hate this whole like this delusional. Mm-hmm. You're not delusional. You're just hopeful. You're just I'm like, yeah, yeah. I, but I also can't be hopeful to every man that talks to me. Like, yeah. you know what I mean, like, I mean do it. Like, Confidence hopeful, is like, key. Like, you ground yourself. Oh like, yeah, ground oh, yourself. Listen, my, yeah, I'm not grounded. My my leg. Well, no, I can't say that. Listen, my legs are in the air. I'm not grounded at all. Oh, but I can't God. say that. I can't. You, I'm keeping it. <laughs> yeah, 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 you, yeah, oh, you can God. say that. <laughs> Uh, listen i will be delulu it's the summer of spice yeah it is mm. the summer of spice and also like i don't know like we're an hour in we can say fuck now you guys <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I, I don't say those words Sorry, i don't cuss i don't mm. swear <laughs> um but yeah I, robbie what was your answer yeah oh, robbie what about you uh, uh, i'm gonna go with theory of love and i would definitely be gone I, I'm definitely done. I cry all the oh time. Oh my god, you want to go through that trauma of crying in the shower? Okay, half of your life? I already do that. I already do that too. <laughs> literally, go through my literally, Beth, and I know you're not on TikTok because I have literally impersonated guns so many times. <laughs> it's in that amazing. Moment. Um, the reason why I would I want I would love to be Theory of Love and be Gun's character is because he goes through those emotional moments. I need to let that out. I'm a cancer. Yeah. Then well, me too. He becomes a bad like he's just like he's like i he has what he's like he i'm has, over he, it yeah he has offs character whip so like yeah. and that's 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 i mean that's what i have so that's we're probably my fun. favorite trope is when the one who is like takes a while to get to liking the boy uh-huh. falls hard he goes so yeah. soft. and he goes I so soft that. oh yeah. yeah the best friend of lover trope is always a good trope also it's- another one you know i don't know if you guys know but i love a good chase so, have you guys seen Oxygen? 
Yeah. Oh, oh girl. I, 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 I would, I would, I would be in the the food, the pukau uh, storyline, and I take cow out, so I just have poo to myself because I, I, I am, I, I need a himbo. I want, I want somebody who's just big and just quiet. I mean, and we love a good himbo. I love a good himbo. We love a good himbo. And good I just one. think, and like, just, just, just be like, talk cold to me, but like, also hug me. <laughs> Why is this me right now? <laughs> like, be mean. like, okay, you have if to you be like super knew. nice to me, but like the withholding, what, like when, when they um, withhold, yeah. when they're withholding, I'm like, y'all. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, what, what's going on? Girl, I know. Right, I was like, huh? And then you like think about it too much, and then sometimes there's like a DM and you scream and yeah, you the, like scream. Yeah, I've had the voice me- messages to prove yeah. it. I just, I just like it's something about liking somebody that has no interest in you at all. Oh, it's yeah. just yeah. never happened. It's just, just like, but then they, but then they, but then they end up like loving. But you. then, like, what like, if they did though? <laughs> Here's the thing. So this brings us back to a, a little bit on topic. Is we a lot of conversation is had about how BLs romanticize or make certain behaviors seem attractive. okay or uh. attractive. And what I think, and Secret Crush on You, I think did a good job of this. Where at the end of it, they were like, "It's relation. It's relatable. Like it's." Yeah. stuff that we deal with in real life and it's making it so that you seem that you're not alone like it's yeah. not okay always like right. these storylines are problematic at times which is why there are age ratings on them mm-hmm. and which is why you should talk to a trusted adult if you're dealing with <laughs> <this situation. laughs> yeah. but that's the thing is that's why we have these stories that's why we have I mean, in the States, why we have Euphoria, like those kids have like lived that, even though it's like a crazy show on HBO, the same thing with BLs, like I'm sure there's somebody out there who has lived this experience and they need to see that they're not alone, that like, no, this isn't okay. And at the end of the day, you didn't get the boy and like, maybe you definitely should not have gotten the boy and like, hopefully these, like the storyline ends. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's the important part of like a lot of this is that you're able to watch your story or something that you've dealt with or something that you've struggled with be shown that like you're not alone yeah well said that's powerful honestly well that's the thing like mine and trevor's story is completely different but then we overlap a little bit so it's like taking these bls like bits and pieces and relating it to to a certain point (sighs) new york city City. City. (laughs) (laughs) i'm like what the heck Um, maybe i'm gonna find my fireman somewhere (laughs) yeah i mean it's like like love mechanics i think is a really the not the current love mechanic i mean we haven't gone through the current love mechanics but the end of love love mechanics i think is a pretty good example because like you see he mark kind of becomes v's boyfriend but like on the dl which is such a common like you know like I like that the number of times that that has happened to like my gay friends, you know, like totally. And then he totally stabs him in the back, right? After like professing his love and being like, you're the one for me and like, we're going to do this thing. And then he like doesn't, you know, like he, he yeah. doesn't commit the way he like promised he was going to commit. And Mark, for his part, cried about it. It sucked for him. He went through it. And then he was like, I'm gonna go get a new man like I'm gonna go get a different man like yeah. he fully was like and he had really supportive friends right so you can have some reassurance that like the friends are t- telling you like yeah don't do this. and yeah. I, that was my first tie BL and I like the thing that I loved about it was that he didn't just take it sitting down right he didn't just be like it's okay like you're so cute right. like he was like Bye. he didn't go cry in the shower Although I do cry. I also cry while eating burritos, just like Gun did. Like, I feel good. <laughs> Don't come for the crying in the shower. That's a different situation. It's, like how it's I therapeutic. Said. It's yeah. therapeutic. And plus, they weren't in a relationship or um, off character didn't promise him anything yet. So, True. different. It's different. 
<laughs> Facts. So I am, I'm super curious to know because I recently had a conversation with one of my friends who's a gay man. Uh, and he has just sort of like discovered BL, he like through Heartbreaker. Uh, or Heartstopper, mm -hmm. actually. And he, we kind of were talking about it because he knew I had this podcast and he knew that I, like, knew about it, right? And he's like, okay, like, let's talk about this. And we had this let's conversation. Let's talk BL, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> we talk BL. Um, and we had this conversation where he was like, well, I feel like it's not a place for me because aren't there mostly, like, women creators and straight women and, like, isn't that the majority of this community? And I was like, you know what? That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, but then I mentioned, I was like, actually, there are more and more, like, visible gay men creators in the BL space. I was like, it's kind of happening slowly. Like, I mm -hmm. I can only name a handful, but, like, it's happening, right? Mm -hmm. Like, we see a lot more men listeners and interactions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so how has that been, like, is that something that you guys have picked up on or that, like, was, like, an experience for you? Because when he said that, I was like, you're right. You know, like you're not wrong in this, that if you go on TikTok or the, my drama list comments or Twitter, right? Like what group of people are you most likely to encounter? Women. Uh, uh, right. Mm -hmm. And so uh, this is medias for everyone. Right. And yeah. these stories are important for everyone to see, but at the same time, it's like, is that, does that ever feel ostracizing that like, Oh, you know, like, because that was kind of his point. He was like, I don't know if this is like a space for me because the majority of the people in it don't seem to be me. This is a controversial question that might get me in trouble. Uh -huh. um, I don't know how Trevor's take on it. Listen, I don't have an issue with like, I'm like, I think just being like part of the community, like LGBTQ plus community and then BL community, we, you have to be inclusive because like, that's the point. We don't want to be segregated. We have to be inclusive. So like the more the merrier, sometimes with certain BLs or certain writers, I will say writers, when they write the stories, it feels like almost, how I don't know what the right word is, but very like just fantasy for them, not like, mm. like really like covering like the gay community or the, you know, like, I don't know, it gets touchy because it's like, yes, fantasy is okay, awesome. But then you have other writers who, like, are closer to what, like, real life, gay life is sometimes. So then you get, then this leads to, like, the followers and, like, people who like BL. They don't know how to separate fiction from reality in the sense where this writer is writing completely fictional. This is just, like, a story that they wrote. It could be Harry Potter. Like, this is not real. Like, this is not real. This is not how the gay community is. This BL is closer and more similar to what... It is being gay in real life. The thing is, you liking the fictional part and like talking about it doesn't mean you support what's going on in it. It just gets very touchy. And I feel like um, it gets tough because when you're not part of the community and you don't understand the back end of it right. and you're writing fiction because to them, it's not reality. It's fiction. Like these mm. women writers aren't experiencing too. They're not a man. So they're not experiencing like the male on male relationship, like they're writing based on what they hear from their gay friends or right. what they think it is. It's not reality. So it just gets very touchy sometimes when you have people getting upset of stuff. And it's just like, this is what really happens. You don't realize like, this is what kind of happens in the gay community. Like, mm -hmm. yes, I know like, like SA, that's a big thing that gets talked about. And just, I was like, that's a big thing in the gay community. Like I know a lot of people gay friends who we've gone out and stuff has happened without consent. It's just like, it's bringing awareness. Like it comes back to bringing awareness right. to like what happened. So it's just like that weird subject. So it's when you get commentators, I will say commentators yeah. who on my for you page, sometimes like I understand where they're coming from, where they're just like, I don't, it's not great to like talk about this, blah, blah, blah. But it's also like, well, you haven't experienced it. Like you don't mm -hmm. understand where, mm -hmm. like where we're coming from. So I I'll get deeper off camera with you guys, <laughs> but like yeah. there are stuff I like have experienced being a gay man and growing up gay and stuff. And 
when I see like women talking about like mm. my gay life and like I was like how I'm not allowed to talk about certain things, I'm like, wait, 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 wait. I've been through these things and yeah. I'm allowed to comment on it or allowed to be like, this is how it feels. And you shouldn't like strike a person down or right. strike a gay man down or like stuff. I just think it's just like fact from fiction. You have to understand there's like a line we all have to like just tippy toe on and just be mindful because even these people who are pushing, like, don't talk about SA or don't support it. I was just like, but we should talk about it we should, because it's real. Like, it's real stuff. So it's like, don't shut down or talk down about SA and, like, it being in BL content because that's what really happens sometimes. Or, yeah. like, it just is weird. And it is a lot. And like you said, it is a lot of female commentators on here. I've never – this is the thing. I have not seen one BL – boy creator say anything negative about like when story plots are essay like i haven't seen it mm -hmm. like of course we don't support it we don't encourage that like but it is talked about and i think i haven't seen like i mean i could be wrong i am new to it so i haven't seen trevor i haven't seen chris i haven't seen yeah. bobby i haven't seen anyone say like negative connotations to like these bl series when they talk about seriously gay stuff but yeah. i always see females that mm. are allies, which are awesome. I thank you for being an ally. Say negative things about it. Yeah. So it's like that. That weird it's, balance. It, 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 that's where it gets messy when we talk about the idea that like Yaoi was created by women for women to avoid the male gaze. But it has to do with actual people who live these lives and these stories. And so a lot of it was created so that they could get away from that. But now it's it's evolved to a place where people want to tell real stories and want to show somewhat of a real experience. And you have to have those examples. And it, it, that's where it gets like what you were talking about where we want people to be included but when you're included you have to know your place basically and you have to you like we talk with about with thai media for example we don't come into it from the west and we're not thai <laughs> yeah we don't yeah. expect I... anything from them from a western sa side we want to learn about the culture we want and it the same goes for the lgbtqia we want to learn about that yeah. culture we want to learn about what's appropriate and not appropriate for somebody who's not a part of the community to interact with that content and to respectfully consume it with with you guys mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm ready for Trevor's answer. I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, I. It's a touchy subject. My question, my, but I'm also very much like. It's like. Listen. Um, if you if you if you watch it, like watch watch it if you want to watch it. I don't really care who's watching it because yeah. you're, you're 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 not me i'm not you you'll i find your people you'll find your people you do what you do right like and in terms of like um no yeah i like i i i think for me um it's it's fine like there are a lot of women in this community yeah mm -hmm. um i think majority of the, the my followers and who interacts with me are majority uh, women or at least from what I'm assuming, right? Mm -hmm. um, I and I think that's that's fine. Um, I think because I I also I also have this very I also have this this weird mindset I have to say where it's like I am very I'm very like a lot of this a lot of these shows are fan like they're they're not real mm -hmm. so I'm like I'm so I'm taking in the content, but I'm also like with the lens that this isn't real. None of this is really happening. Like even like, like, like that kind of thing. Yeah. So, um, so you don't think that people are like tied together by a red thread of destiny. <laughs> That's what I, and, like, I, actually, I actually, you don't think you've lived another life and you're waiting for your soul partners. So I take everything I said back. Um, <laughs> I actually, no, like, like, do you I'm, have a high school best friend rival that you're going to be reunited with? Do I? <laughs> Who's your bad buddy? <laughs> oh my god! 
<laughs> no, but yeah, like totally. Oh, like I, I yeah. feel like um, I, I I I generally like don't like I don't, I generally don't like I think I think when it comes when it comes to people critiquing experiences that they have never experienced, nor will they right. probably ever experience. That's something I guess I'm I'm, I'm not okay with. Like, um, or to like I, I guess I guess I guess what we're probably saying is like having an opinion on something like like you're not even like like a like ally. Great, welcome to the party. But when it comes time for us to like to speak about certain things, mm-hmm. listen, yeah. not not speaking. And I understand that. Um, totally. I also forgot the original question. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, like, do you feel like so a friend of mine who he and mm. I were just having this conversation about like the BL community and general, like a fan oh, community? Or do I feel like I'm, I'm like, it's, yeah, it's he like me. asked me, he was oh, like, oh, yeah. it, he was like, I don't know if this is a, sp-. he's like, isn't it mostly women? And I kind of had to be like, well, actually, <laughs> Yeah. More and more, I feel like there are mm-hmm. men creators. Yeah. More and more, like there's not a ton, but it's happening, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, like Robbie, you named off like a bunch of what? our friends. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. Cool. Did, was was part of that him thinking that the media that they were producing was something that like he couldn't relate to, or, right? Like, it because be he interesting. he just sort of assumed it was like for women. So he's like, how could yeah. I relate? How could I how like interesting? relate to this or consume is- this? Because that was the deal with Heartstopper, right? Is he was like, this was almost like my lip story, mm, kind yeah. of, you know? Interesting. I, I guess it's for me, it's like, I never go into a show thinking, oh, I'm going to relate to this. Or like, I never like, I'm not anticipating yeah. to be like, I, oh, this is something like, I'm seeing myself or I, I, I don't anticipate that ever. Now, if I right. come out with that, I'm like, wow, that's awesome. Like guys, yeah. like, I feel like was a very realistic um, representation of, um, a gay a relationship from my perspective, from my experience. Yeah. Can, that, that mean, that means it, it, and Robin could say, say, well, I don't believe that. And that he's very valid in that. Yeah. That's not his experience. Right. So I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think it's just like that. I, I also think it's me going in the, with the lens that I'm not expecting reality from right. anything, uh, from any show. I'm not respect, I'm not expecting reality. Right. I'm, not, I'm expecting, I'm expecting a a story. If it's good or bad, I don't know. But I'm expect I'm expecting a story. Like I I I think I look at I look at BL almost in the same way I look at any other TV show. Is that I like, oh this looks interesting. Let me go watch it. Mm-hmm. That kind of thing. I think I think maybe uh, I think maybe I'm a little more um like oh I'm gonna watch it watch it watch because it's BL and like yeah. I've made I've made a it's it's become a part of my life essentially so it's like I'm absorbing I'm absorbing I'm absorbing and I'm we'll becoming watch it a little, all yeah. I'm watch it all and I'm become I'm being a little more critical about certain things but I I don't think I think I don't I think I still have the lens that this is a, this is a production right um and so I'm not I'm not expecting any representation um mm. but that that's also just my experience mm-hmm. that's also just right. something that my experience like I'm, I'm not expecting representation right yeah, yeah but it is great when you have the the representation yeah. um and i also think when you have something that that tries to um uh promote itself as a representation yeah. or as something that oh these are real stories then that sh- they should stick true to that and let it and let that be it and not like you know let like promote that and then go off and be like, oh, and then yeah. it was a unicorn in the end. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, like, yeah, like, yeah. I think, I think, uh, but again, also it's it's all about perspective, I think. Yeah. And I think for me, I I I came into the BL community and I I never once thought, oh, I don't I don't think I'm gonna fit in because mm-hmm. it's old yeah. dominated or there's not a lot of guys here. No, I I don't I don't think that's that's been an issue for me because I think Hello? <laughs> the train doesn't agree. I'm just kidding. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> They're like, rethink, rethink. Right. No, I, I think it's the, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I <think> it's, <laughs> <laughs> They're doing their part to insert some fun into Let's Talk. I'm just kidding. Yes. So I, I, think, I think it's never been an issue. Uh, and 
but I think I think that this has a lot to do with me and how I yeah. how I approached uh, how I approached uh, BL. Like, and I and I did it because um, again, looking for it. I'm like that, and right. like, yeah. and so, and, and also, it could just be that I've watched so many that I'm also like, there's a there's a, there's a amount of like. Like, not, like not, you're not, almost like not jaded, but not, like, like, or not even desensitized. Yeah. Just like, I, yeah, it's like I'm, and I'm also, I'm also again open to hearing everybody's opinion. Yeah, and I, and I also think, I also think I, I believe everybody, sh everybody is physically capable of having an opinion mm -hmm. and speaking it out. <laughs> um, and feel free to do that, but also feel free to get roasted in the comments like it, like right. it, it's, it's a matter yeah. of you're picking and choosing your own battles i'm gonna let you pick your battle but if you if you're you like lose, i'm not gonna choose you but yeah. I'm not, you know i'm like I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna let you choose the battle but if you yeah. fall yeah. then mm. if you lose the battle that's on you that's right. on you yeah. well and what's interesting too is that a lot of the source material is written by women, right. but a lot in the past at least two years, I would say, that's the only kind of reference I have, is that a lot of gay men are at like the helm of these things. On the production level. They are directing yeah. it. They are screenwriting it. They're doing that kind of stuff. And so mm -hmm. I think that's what's been interesting is that you do have a lot of men behind the scenes mm -hmm. kind of filtering through. Like we saw it a lot with Piaf. Like he talked a lot about it with the bad buddy of it all, right? right. I don't mm -hmm. know who wrote that source material, but he talked a lot about the importance of having certain parts from a gay man's perspective in that storyline. Yeah. I, 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 I also agree. Like, I don't, and, and again, on, on, I guess on the other hand is that these are stories being told about gay men. And it, it I think, I think, I think it's interesting as to why there aren't a lot of male writers and why they aren't writing it. I don't think the world's ready. <laughs> I really don't. I think because there are I they a gay man and a pen. Watch out. Ooh. Yeah, a, I see gay, like gay writers writing stories, but they don't get published and stuff because like I don't think the world's ready for that. They would rather right now women write the stories for gay men, and mm -hmm. which isn't a bad thing. It just baby steps. Yeah, baby steps. Um, it just comes back to the whole, like, I, I mean, my closest friends, like, are women in the BL community. Like, right. so it's never about that. It's just when it's the matter of fact, when I see, um, people with their opinions, like, this is right. Everyone else's is wrong. That's mm -hmm. what gets me. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's but, like a. But, and that's when I, that's, the, and like, of course, everyone's allowed to have their opinion. I love opinions. Like, mm. I don't care if, like, me, Ayla, and Bethan have all had, like, different opinions, but I still love them. I'm not, I'm literally I mean, your opinion is trash, but I love you. <laughs> that's exactly, yes, that's exactly what it is. And that's I how you agree. have adult relationships. Exactly. You but don't have to agree. I think that's the thing that gets touchy with me with this whole topic is I never see, I mean, I haven't. I haven't seen a lot of male creators have such strong opinions about right. gay men or gay characters that I have seen of women. Mm -hmm. And the women that I'm talking about are like matter of fact. Like they're not right. saying like, this is my opinion. They're like, this is wrong and you're wrong. And I'm just like, yeah, that's yeah. not what we're doing here. Like, I'm okay with you having your opinion. I never comment on it. I don't want to deal mm -hmm. with it. Cause like, I'm, I'm like, yeah. you have your opinion. Like, this is why we do not follow each other. Like we're good. Right. Um, I don't care. It's just when you have a matter of fact, and then the thing when they bring it to real life and like gay men, that's my issue. That's when I'm just like, it's fiction. Like, like Trevor said, it's we go into it like it's fictional. It's a story. Awesome. But when they try to bring it into real life and how mm. gay men and gay men should act, that's where I get my issue. I'm like, okay, you're taking a story that's supposed to be fictional or just a fun story, and you're bringing it into real life, like projecting mm. their opinion Project of what's right mm. or wrong onto and, you. Yeah. And and you're like a woman saying that as as a gay man, this is how I should be. This is how I should act. This mm -hmm. is how I should respond to this. And I'm just like, wait, 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 wait. You haven't lived it. Like I'm a gay man. Yeah. I grew up yeah. as a gay man. I've lived it. So like I've experienced it. But I don't like commenting. Like matter of fact, like I will mm -hmm. never be matter of fact. Like because everyone, like Trevor, you guys said, everyone's allowed to have opinions. We're adults. You, I could disagree with your opinion, and I would be like, hell no. 
but I still love you because like I don't care. Listen, Everyone we all sur- we all survived the dome V of it all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I was scared. I thought I was although it makes so much sense now knowing that you are dome. I'm not dome. <laughs> it makes, makes a everything lot makes so of much sense. sense. I'm, wow. I'm not dome. The, p- the puzzle pieces are falling into place. Oh God, I'm not dome. I'm gonna have to edit this out because I'm not trying to get canceled. So you. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's magic. Nah. No, I like. I feel like you haven't said anything you could get canceled for because I yeah. do think it's something that people need to hear, right? That yeah. like this whole like saying this is wrong and this is right, like yeah. that's not how the world works. Yeah. It's just not, right. especially if it's not your lived experience. Mm-hmm. And like that's the whole point of like pride and this conversation during Pride Month that comes up about like rainbow capitalism and things like yeah. that, right? Like you don't get to benefit off of mm-hmm. someone else's lived mm-hmm. experience yeah. and not listen or and make up your own mind and decide that you're now the authority. Yeah. Like that should like that's not okay. Like that's matter of fact. Like yes. matter of fa- as a matter of fact actually that's not okay to say mm-hmm. that like right. I'm the authority now, even though like it's not your lived experience and it's not, it's not something that you have gone through. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I like, I actually think it's really important to keep in Yeah, (laughs) that like people need to hear it. Mm -hmm. And like we all, and we all, right. Like the female creators in this space Mm -hmm. need to remember that like, it's not our lived experience and we're not the, as a matter of fact, we're like, we call us whatever, like BL professionals are, but like, actually we're, we're not the authority on this. It's you can be in these spaces Mm -hmm. in any space that you're not, that you don't have experience with and, but know how to interact in those spaces, like know how to come in as almost like a bystander Mm -hmm. knowing that someone will come alongside and ask you questions and like interact with you but knowing that like you're not the center of attention right it's, <laughs> it's not about you, no. uh, about you. i think it's just everyone needs to one be kind you don't have yeah. to do. two boundaries you yeah know, you just need to know the boundaries that's it everyone could have opinions it's just the boundaries of it all i'm not going to tell you what's right i'm yeah. going to tell you what's wrong i'm just going to give you my opinion give me your opinion and we listen to each other we accept it we don't accept it we move on totally. and we go yeah. and enjoy life you know uh, this episode is heavy for let's talk bl it's also yeah. hella long yeah um <laughs> so we're gonna have some fun now it's gonna be fun let's go fun yes. Yes. um it is pride month we're proud everyone's proud of everything Hi, Happy pride month. yes <laughs> well, uh but what is one bl that makes you proud to be a bl fan Ooh. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't oh, think no. <laughs> that you're like, yes, this is my genre. Like these are my people. <laughs> okay. I only I do I can only choose one. Yeah. Yes. This is hard. Don't ask me hard questions. <laughs> um Shay. I'm telling you again. Okay. Nice. But guys, oh. I feel like the second best. Okay, but what 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 like what are like just like proud to be a BL fan that like okay. you would show people because like we've talked about this before that yeah. like sometimes people don't like to say that they're into BL because they're scared of like the judgment or whatever that like right. there's some sort of implication. But like the criteria is just like a show that makes you that makes you think like, yeah, like this is an awesome genre. This is fun. I love this. I'd show anyone this and it's amazing and like 10 out of 10. Gosh, that's tough. I think for me. It was it was it's a because that was the show that if I had a friend, any friend and every friend, I was like, you should watch this show. I like it didn't matter who or a bad buddy, like truly on screen, off screen. These boys, especially it's a those boys are talented. The amount of people that I have sent PP music videos to, I'm like. Pee-pee. Look, pee-pee talent. Great. Pee-pee pee-pee great. Great. Look, pee-pee pee-pee great. Great. Pee-pee great. Pee-pee great. Pee-pee great. Ah! No, pee-pee like, pee-pee worldwide famous. Uh, 
Like, what's that show that you have told non BL friends? Like, this is the show you need to watch. People don't you don't have videos. to get into the genre, but like, or like why or whatever, but just yeah. like, like, yeah, I like BL, and this is why I like BL. <laughs> Gosh, that's hard. I I don't, like, I don't know if I like BL now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't like BL. Um, <laughs> but what I have recommended the most like two people because i i think overall the quality is just amazing like of course other than my favorite but like it is until we meet again yeah, that's the one i do i do <laughs> tell people i just think the story is great i think it's like impactful i i just overall i thought it was a really good series and i do tell people to watch that one a lot like of course i would say beginnings triggering there are some triggering points but it i stand by, that is a great series she's that's an icon cool. she's a legend and she is the moment yeah. Okay, what's yours? I mean, it changes so often, but honestly, like, you're my sky yeah. because there's so much to it that it's, like, because I feel like that's sort of, like, the judgment that you get from people that, like, oh, like, they think BL is just one thing, mm -hmm. yeah. right? They think it's this just, like, one, like, niche, you're sort of only watching it to watch boys kiss kind of thing, yeah. right? That, like, they have it in their head that it's, like, fetishization that like that's mm, why you're yeah. watching mm. and what i love so much about you're my sky and what like grabbed me about it because i was in on that show from ep one yeah was that like it was very clear that wasn't the point that like the relationships were something that were developed but like mm. you're watching these people's stories right like when you watch torn when you watch oh, i swear i like cried the first episode because when you watch him not make that team like you're invested in him yeah right it's not about who he's gonna end up kissing right and it like and that's how it is for i feel like every character in the show is like you're invested in like oh my god what is this guy gonna go <laughs> through you mm -hmm. don't want them to kiss <laughs> right like sometimes they make you're out like, by a pool please, and no boys kiss no 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 <laughs> yeah. but like no yeah i think you're my sky because it's so there's so much to it and i feel like it like overcomes that sort of like judgment that people jump to when they hear bl yeah mm -hmm. this has been let's talk bl don't forget to like subscribe follow and keep up with all things let's talk bl uh, uh, let's, let's talk, talk bl, BL. Yay! and don't forget to follow robbie at uh, hey it's robbie and, and trevor. trevror at trevor ooh, 5 30. <laughs> <laughs> oh this feels appropriate <laughs> bye <laughs>